Hi, Tracy parents. Thank you so much for being with us and for helping us in our virtual journey uh, these last few days. So we have a few more days left of virtual learning, and I wanted to offer some, some tips, uh, some suggestions, and also awareness to some things that need to be discussed. So the first thing is um, just please make sure that your children are there for their virtual learning, that they show up to their classrooms, that they log in on time and ready for learning. And when we talk about ready for learning, ready for learning really means a couple of things. Uh, first, it means that they're out of bed, uh, that they're dressed, and that they are ready to learn, like they have a space for them to be in. Um, and on that note, the second piece of that is making sure that your children have a space that can be considered their learning space. Um, it doesn't need to be a full room that they're in there by themselves. I know that everyone's homes are very different. Um, and everybody, you know, a lot of houses have multiple children who are home and they're all trying to do their virtual learning. But give them a corner, um, a corner, um, you know, chairs, uh, like when my kids were small, they loved it, but they used to use chairs as desks. They'd sit on the floor on a pillow and they'd pop a chair in front of them and that was their desk and that was their workspace. Works great. Um, but students really need to have a space that they know is going to be their learning corner. So if you can make sure that each one of your children has a designated learning space, it's really helpful. Um, helps them feel like they're getting up and going to something, right? Going to work, going to school. Uh, the next thing I want to talk to you about is parents on camera. So we thoroughly encourage parents to be supportive um, and by their children, especially our youngest children, while they're learning. Uh, but we would like to discourage parents being on camera the way I am right now, like front and center, um, kind of what the person watching is seeing. Uh, it's a concern for some of the students and they get really distracted when they see an adult on the screen. Um, and it also can be a concern for some of the other parents that there's an adult on the screen versus it being children on the screen. So if you're there and you're helping your child, try to be the guide on the side, you know, off camera, but supporting um, and offering encouragement for them to attend and be engaged in the learning. We really appreciate that. Uh, we are really working to make sure that our attendance for virtual learning and in-person learning is up. Uh, if your child has missed, you know that you've gotten a call from one of us when, in the office staff or um, you know, Mrs. Espinosa, Mrs. Campos or someone. We were calling, we're checking, uh, we're very worried and, and we have an obligation to make sure that our students are learning. So please, please, please uh, make sure that your child logs on and that they're on there for the, the whole time. Uh, the other piece of that is that teachers are required now to take attendance twice a day. They take it in the morning and then they take it again in the afternoon. Uh, if your child uh, comes in late, or if your child comes in, um, you know, not until in the afternoon and they miss half the day, it's counted as an absence. So if your child only shows up to one meeting and they're only there for 20 minutes, they're still absent for the day. We are obligated to make sure that our students are learning and that they are present. So please make sure that your children are there and that they're following their schedule and that, um, you know, they don't miss the attendance checks and it's really important for the work that we do. So I thank you. Um, after this video, if you don't mind, I have a section for your children. So after this, if you just pull them over and say Mrs. Rangel wants to talk to you and, and that just have them watch it. Um, it really is about their comportment while we're on virtual learning, um, just to make sure that everybody is reminded about our expectations for behavior while we are in virtual learning, as well as, of course, when we are in person. Thank you so much for your time. I send you the best of wishes and thank you for being partners in your child's education. Hey Cubs, Mrs. Rangel here. I wanted to have a quick chat with you about virtual learning and the expectations that we have for you while virtual learning. So I've been joining classes and looking at your meets, your team meetings, and I've seen a lot of amazing things happening, and I'm so proud of you for all the hard work that you're doing. But I've also seen some things that are a little bit concerning, so I thought it'd be important for us to talk about what the expectations are for you as a learner virtually. So the first thing that a teacher should see, and I should see if I pop in, is your face. I know, it's a crazy thing to say, 
but I keep popping in and I see names or pictures and you, your teacher and your classmates need to see your face. So please make sure your cameras are on. The second thing that I want to remind you is that unless you're speaking, you should be muted. There's a lot of noise going on behind us. There's family members who are home and doing their work at home as well. Sometimes there's, you know, vacuum machines going. There's lots of background noise. So unless you're the person talking, your computer should be on mute. It's the red button. The other thing that I want to remind you of, boys and girls, is that virtual learning is still learning. You need to participate. You need to be raising your hand when you have questions. You need to answer questions when the teacher asks. Making this work for us, boys and girls, is going to require us all to be different kinds of learners. And we're Cubs, so I know that you can do this. You can persevere, and you absolutely are problem solvers. So the next time I pop into your class meet, I wanna make sure I see all your faces. I wanna make sure that you're following our print, that you're being respectful. I want you to be the Cubs that I know you really are, whether you're in person or whether we're learning virtually. Have a great day, Cubs. Thank <laughs> you.